I hear this uh, sound frequency coming from the television that completely um, messes with my pineal gland. What happens is it releases the um, coiled serpent or the kundalini, which is at the base of the spine. Max Spears was a conspiracy theorist. He died in July 2016 on a sofa in Poland, 1,000 miles from his home in Canterbury. He was 39. Seven months on and how he died remains a mystery. You don't just lie on a sofa and die. Something happens. Nie mogliśmy między innymi przeprowadzić kluczowych w tego typu przypadkach sekcji zwłok. Stories keep growing amongst conspiracy theorists about the role of satanic cults or aliens and that Max knew more than he should have. When I met him in, in Canterbury, we were being tracked by at least four pairs of agents. Whispers about a death involving black vomit and strange rituals have catapulted this previously little-known conspiracy theorist into the spotlight. I have been under psychic attack, under astral attack, and under physical attack um, to stop me from coming to Warsaw to be able to convey this information to you. was a very special person indeed from the time he was born. Just special because he's my son, never mind all the rest, yeah. you know. March of 2008, um, some strange things started happening, happening to me. Um, I had some extremely vivid dreams and then I got uh, taken out of my body and shown that uh, my life as I thought it was, was not what I th quite thought they were. Part of the world that he was part of, he saw a lot of good and a lot of light. He believed we were in an era of enlightenment <clears throat> and that it was almost like a renaissance happening here. There were those who would not wish for this to be so, that the last thing that they wanted was enlightenment and they wanted to keep people closed and in place and that is what he saw as the darker side. He thought that possibly the more he spoke out the more dangerous it became. He said if I don't survive this mum then you have to make sure that you look into it. I don't even know if it was the people or if it was going to Poland. I, I don't know the answers but something changed. Some how he got connected with the darker side. I love this 90s. Oh, it's gorgeous. 90s isn't it? curtains. I know. Gorgeous. <laughs> It's not normal for an apparently healthy 39-year-old man to just die on a sofa. Loads has been written about Max's death, but very little truth has come out. So what do we know? One, Maxwell Lindsay Herbert Bates Spears died on the evening of the 16th of July 2016 in a suburb of Warsaw. Two, Max died in the home of Monica Duval, a sci-fi publisher they'd known each other for about three months and just a few days before, they'd returned from a holiday in Cyprus. Three, the doctor who attended the scene reported that Max had a high fever for about 24 hours and wrote, before emergency services came to the site, dark brown liquid spilled out of the patient. Monica answered, she was hysterical and she said, that, yeah, yeah, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. And then speaking to Monica two days after he had died, she said, he had thrown up black liquid earlier in the morning, and she said two litres of black liquid. Four, Max's body came back to the UK six days later. Five, a post-mortem in Kent came back as inconclusive. Oh my God, interdimensional alien <laughs> spacecraft is coming after me. Or it's just on a mission doing its normal day's work. These are living. They are living. Well, they're, yeah, they're trees. Yeah, yeah they're trees. Yeah. But the thorn bushes. I had an experience where they switched me into a different domain. This is Miles. He calls himself a transhumanization researcher. He knew Max for many years and invited Max to speak at conferences. Max talked about super soldiers. He talked about deep underground bases. He talked about Nightmare Hall, where they've been making all these types of creatures in the labs, in Dulce and in this country. The creation of a 
interdimensional or astral war or army. The majority of the moon is now run by the uh, Fourth Reich. He was also explaining that we have got, we are governed by others, the unseen. Is this what you would call the New World Order? The New World Order is a sort of a modern version of that. What did Max think happened to him when he was a child? Max was, was uh, part of a group of children, about 40 children, who were treated in very special ways. OK, here Mars is talking about the super soldier programme that Max thought he was part of. Max believed that his mind had been altered as a foetus and could be controlled to fight in other dimensions but they were being trained to survive an enemy that they needed to be able to conquer, and that's what he was fighting. That's quite a big thing to believe that happened to you when you were a child. You see, you keep on saying this belief system. If you're actually in a program, and you're actually with other children, exposed to different military conditions by other elements who are in control, uh, then that's not a belief system. That's happened to you in your life. I was targeted as an individual from birth. With me, the trauma began whilst in the womb. There are a number of different ways to traumatize, to uh, split the mind of the child so that it creates alters, like a, maybe like a honeycomb. The reason behind fracturing the mind is so that when the mind is fractured through trauma, the mind fractures itself and creates an amnesiac barrier around that so, uh, so that you don't have to keep reliving the experience over and over again. We've got a predator and that predator has arrived and it's been farming us and it's been planning us our demise as parasites for a long time and that crucially is what Max was trying to tell us. So Max had some fairly weird ideas but I find it hard to believe they're the reason behind his death. There's a man in Poland however who might be able to give us some answers. We've learned that the prosecutor's office here have opened an investigation to Max's death and the prosecutor's just managed to make time for us and we're heading there to try and find out what he knows to see if he can tell us any more about Max. Obviously it's very early in the investigation but what do you know, what are the facts for you at this stage? Na tym etapie ustaliliśmy, że załoga pogotowia ratunkowego została wezwana przez partnerkę pana Maxa Spearsa. You said partner of Max Spears. Z naszych informacji wstępnych wynika, że była to partnerka pana Spearsa. Natomiast te okoliczności będziemy, tą relację będziemy, charakter tej relacji będziemy ustalać w toku śledztwa. Lekarz po przybyciu na miejsce podjął czynności reanimacyjne, zakończone niestety niepowodzeniem. Wobec takich wniosków lekarza w dalsze czynności na miejscu nie była angażowana policja. Informacja o śmierci pana Spirsa do prokuratury do, dotarła dopiero 30 sierpnia tego roku, kiedy już ciało zostało przewiezione do Wielkiej Brytanii. Nie mogliśmy między innymi przeprowadzić kluczowych w tego typu przypadkach sekcji zwłok. The prosecutor told me he plans to interview everyone that was present when Max died. We know Monica was there, but it's unclear who else was around, and he won't give me names. Okay, dziękuję, Łukasz. Dziękuję bardzo. So, more gaps in the story, and gaps and rumours fuel great headlines. Morning, folks. How are we doing? Unanswered questions are like a red rag to a bull for conspiracy theorists. They stole Max's memories from his Max cell. Max was about to expose a child pedophilia ring. There are hours of this sort of stuff online. Everybody wants a piece. They stole his memories and put him into Orlando Bloom. Max was messed with before he was born. I think Max is going to stick around for maybe six months out of body. His DNA was uh, genetically manipulated. Right. Okay, but we are still talking about a real person here. Max was a father to two boys and he was a son to Vanessa. And his life revolved around his family as well as his obsession with conspiracies. It was always the heart is what matters. Everything comes from the heart. That's the sad, sad part for me is that I think some how 
he got connected with a darker side. Did you worry about his mental health at any point? Yeah. He suffered from anxiety, no question. I want to know what happened to Max Spears in his very last days. Make no mistake about it, Max was no saint. And exactly how deep did his anxieties run? It created a really big problem. Really big problem. 